Hello viewers, uh, how many of y'all been out on the water and uh, went to hit your power poles and only one power pole went down? Well, uh, that happened to me last trip and uh, I had to call power, power pole, which were, they were amazing. Uh, they actually overnighted the part to me. So uh, I'm gonna show you how to fix that problem, how to troubleshoot the problem and uh, how to get back on the water. All right, here we go. First, you want to find whatever uh, bolts you have holding down your deck. So you're going to remove those first. Once you get those out, you'll be able to go to the next step, which is uh, observing all the different uh, fuses and all the different uh, wires inside of your uh, system. My unit uh, had four screws to re remove the uh, carpet. I have a Skeeter FX21, but uh, whatever one you have, just remove it and you'll be able to see the top of the, uh, the Blade 8. So mine's a 2018. Uh, you have the up down button and then you have the reset button in the, in the middle. One thing uh, they'll ask you when you call power pole is, is do you have a blinking light? Mine does have a blinking light. Also have uh, fuses that uh, go to my unit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to check those fuses real quick to make sure there's no corrosion or any water inside those fuses. Also, I noticed when I turned on my unit, uh, I wasn't getting the, uh, the chime or the music playing when I turned on the uh, power to my unit. So uh, that also means I might have a circuit board issue. Now let's check the circuit board. To check the circuit board, I'm going to pop this cover off. You pull up on the, on the side. It has a release on it. Pull it right off. Next step, you want to turn the battery off of your circuit board uh, or to your unit. Just uh, turn your main battery. I have a main battery power on mine. I switched it to the off. And now I'm going to remove the silicone uh, protectant over top of the uh, circuit board. And then you'll be able to see the circuit board. So now I'm gonna I'm gonna pop the circuit board off, and uh, I'm gonna check it for any any kind of uh, corrosion or condensation that's built up on top of it. To pop up the board, all you want to do is grab it on one side and lift lift up on it until it pops right out. It has two long fingers on one side of it, so I'm gonna wiggle the pieces. Those two long fingers are what holds it inside, and there's your motherboard. Next, you want to inspect, make sure there's no condensation inside of the uh, top of the motor. Uh, I have a packet on top of mine to absorb uh, any moisture. I don't see any moisture, but I still think I have a faulty circuit board. So I'm going to call power pole and see what they say. So mine was still under warranty and uh, I was able to uh, have it over 90 to me. So I just received my package. So I'm going to pull out the new part, install it and see if that fixes the problem. So now I have the new uh, board. I'm just going to install it in reverse order. So I'm going to find the two prongs. I got the two prongs. I'm going to put them in the holes first and then push down on it. Make sure it sets inside. Make sure it's nice and tight. Next, I'm going to put on the silicone cover. That way no moisture or condensation is going to get there. And make sure that you install the silicone around the track. There's a track that goes around the outside of the top of the motor unit. Make sure that it actually sets in there so you don't get any moisture or condensation in it. Next, I'll install the, uh, the top plate. So it has two holes on the uh, side where the buttons are. We'll put them on first and then I'll push it down and lock it into place. Just like so. All right, next you wanna turn the unit on and uh, see if you got a green light. You also wanna hear the music. So let's see what we got. All right, we got the green light. Hear the music. Okay, and if uh, you need to reset yours, uh, your remote, you wanna hold down this red button for uh, three seconds and uh, you'll see the light turn solid and you'll hear a chirp. Uh, mine's already programmed, so hopefully it still works. I won't have to reprogram it. All right, let's see if it works. All right, we got we got uh, movement. So both poles are moving. So we have success. All right, hope you like it. Please subscribe. Uh, please leave in comments. If you have a faster way to do it or a better way, or if I do anything wrong, just leave comments. I appreciate you watching.